Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create email pop-ups using the new tool from Shopify called Shopify Forms. So Shopify Forms can be a great way to acquire and convert new customers with Shopify Forms and it is a free email capture solution created and developed directly through Shopify. So this is a great way to create those email pop-ups and again, it is with the new Shopify Forms app. So I'll be showing you how to use Shopify forms, how to get set up and create those email capture forms on your Shopify store. And before we dive into things, I do want to mention again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. They'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. I do also want to announce that I am now offering private one-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting. If you are interested in that, you can find that link link down below in the description as well at brennvaleski.com forward slash coaching. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video and tutorial on how to use Shopify forms to create those email capture forms to help grow your overall email marketing list. So as you can see here, what exactly is Shopify forms? So it is a relatively new app that Shopify has launched in order to create email capture. So essentially what it does is in the bottom right hand corner, or you can adjust some of that in the settings as well. You have a little connect with us button or you know you can change that as well in the settings and then it pops up with the little email pop-up see let's be friends get 10% off your first order join the mailing list and then people can subscribe to your email list and then you can continue to remarket to them uh, to help you know convert more sales and do whatever you like to do with your email marketing list it's a great way again you can incentivize people with discounts as well uh, and you can track all of the analytics and performance and again it is all native to the Shopify platform so you don't even have to leave or use any other third-party apps which is one of the nice benefits with using a platform like Shopify forms or using the app Shopify forms as well as you can see here uh, you can set up and customize the discounts whether you want to offer a 20% off discount 10% off uh, you can time and target things with the triggers and you can customize it to your brand matching the overall styling colors uh, that really match your specific brand needs and making sure things look uh, exactly how you want them. So you do have a lot of customization options in here as well. Uh, again, you can also then set up and send emails like welcome emails, newsletters, uh, seasonal sales, things like that. That connects with the Shopify email app, which does work seamlessly with Shopify forms as well. So you're able to create more of those, you know, conversion driven marketing campaigns. As you can see here, everything is first party data all built in directly into the Shopify ecosystem. So without further ado, doing the little introduction here on Shopify forms, in order to use it, of course, we're going to take a look at the demo here just to show you exactly what it looks like on a store. So as you can see here, you know, ready to try Shopify forms. You do is they're in the bottom right hand corner. I know my camera is probably covering some of this as well, uh, but you can see that it, at the top here, you get like 10% off. They enter the information uh, and that's how you go about doing it. So next, what you're going to do in order to install this app, of course, you're going to need to head over to the Shopify app store. Uh, and then you're going to search for Shopify forms. So you should see this in the Shopify app store. Shopify forms, that is the name of the app. Again, it is completely free to download and use and add to your Shopify store. Uh, so as you can see here, you can clearly customize, engage your audience, uh, add discounts as well directly within Shopify forms. I do have other tutorials going over uh, how to create other discounts as well, more specifically. Uh, but yeah, so that is the Shopify forms app. Again, it is completely free uh, to download as well. So we're going to go ahead and then click add app. You're going to want to make sure that you are signed into your Shopify store again as well. We're going to go ahead and click add app. And then this will add this to the Shopify store. As you can see here, this is the test store for tutorials. So once you've clicked that, then you just click install app and this will add the Shopify forms. Uh, app to your store so you can start doing those email marketing pop-ups uh, to grow your overall audience. So as you can see here, it will then bring up this menu where you can engage online store customers uh, to grow email lists and gain insights, create an email capture pop-up for lead generation in minutes. So as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and click the green button, create form. And then this will set up the 
uh, form creation area. So by the default, this is the template that they give you. So stay in the know, get inspiration, new arrivals on the latest offers to your inbox. So that's just a basic uh, template. Of course, you can create uh, discounts as well. So if you want to add a discount, it is super easy to do that, to add this to your email pop-up. All you have to do is click select discount. Uh, and you can easily add it right here. Now, I've already created these discounts on this Shopify store. If you do wanna learn how to create discounts more in depth, covering all the different types of discounts, I will link that video in the card here. So feel free to watch that video if you wanna learn exactly how to create uh, different discounts. It is pretty simple and easy to follow and straightforward. Again, if you already have a discount on your store, all you have to do is select it from this menu. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go with the save 10% off, one use per customer, uh, save 10, 10 percent off entire order so we're going to add that discount here alternatively you could also click create discount from that menu there uh, so as you can see now it are automatically added hey 10 percent off entire order uh, one use per customer so it automatically added that text there just by selecting the discount which is pretty nice just saves you a little bit of time in terms of figuring out how you want to prop you know advertise this to your customers so in terms of the display type you can create this as a floating or an overlay Personally, I prefer the overlay because it sort of just takes up more of the screen. Uh, we will be taking a look at what it looks like on the live version of the store in a little bit here as well. Uh, but we'll, we'll go with the overlay uh, versus the floating. If you you know if you prefer the floating, it just stays in the bottom left hand corner. You know you could stick with that as well. I like the overlay. Uh, it just depends on what you want to go with. Uh, show to customers first before the form. So you could also do that as well if you just want to. Uh, see after the form is closed show to customers first before the form uh, this is what customers will see first it will display in the bottom left hand corner of your online store uh, so you know that's the little teaser tag if you want to add the teaser tag that's sort of what the uh, demo store has in terms of uh, get uh, get like get 10 percent off that's your little teaser text so you can also preview what that looks like in the top right hand corner there uh, so you can set up little teaser text show to them before uh, the form that is recommended obviously uh, so you can give them the little teaser text and then once they actually open the form uh, you also have this text here so you have your first name email uh, you can also add additional fields as well so 10% off entire order uh, get inspiration new arrivals and latest offers so that's one thing you could do there you could also say get 10% off your first order uh, something like that. So get uh, 10, you know, 10% off. We already have that there, of course, in the 10% uh, off your first order. So that's something you could do here. You can type in your get 10% off your first order. inspiration new arrivals endless offers to your inbox so you can do that there as well uh, just type in the text of course you can also insert links italics bold you could even bold the 10 percent off if you want it to just you know pop a little bit more you could do that there as well in terms of other form inputs of course first name email you definitely want those fields there you can also enter birthday and last name you don't really need last name uh, you just have that option there if you want it and you can add birthday again if you maybe you're interested in offering uh, birthday coupons or if you wanted to give uh, a special birthday gift or like a birthday celebration coupon something like that you can also implement that there uh, in terms of the button label, sign me up, uh, you could do that. You could also say get 10% off or something like that. Uh, by, admit, by submitting your email, you agree to receive marketing emails. So you definitely want the consent disclaimer. It says optional here. I would definitely recommend keeping that templated consent uh, just so that you know, you're following everything that you need to in terms of email, uh, general email marketing practices. Once you have this here, you have the title and content of 10% off your entire order. So save 10, it will then pop up, populate with the discount code that they can click to copy paste, uh, which is really nice there as well. So it's very easy for them to see the discount code and copy and paste it for their order. Uh, so that's what the success message will look like. And of course you can edit that here if you want to change it. 
Uh, and then you have the overall styling. So to see the styling, uh, we'll go ahead and click back on the button label. So you can change the overall background, text, accent colors, the button, everything. We're gonna leave this default for now, sort of. Uh, I mean, as you can see here, this is sort of what it would look like. Uh, if you did wanna edit that, you know, changing out the colors, making it sort of uh, match your overall brand aesthetic. Uh, so I sort—I guess I like the baby blue sort of thing going. And you also have bottom left, bottom center, depending on the position that you want it. You could even have it rotated, uh, which is cool. Sort of makes it a little bit hard to read depending on the device that they're on. Uh, now I'm going to go with bottom left because currently we already have the Shopify inbox app added to the store. So I know my camera is covering it, but there is something already in the bottom right co hand corner for chat with us, which I know a lot of you guys, if you are using the Shopify inbox app and the whole chat feature, it will put it in the bottom right. So that's something to keep in mind if you are also using that app is to maybe position it in the bottom left just so that it doesn't overlay weird. Or you could also go center, like middle, bottom center, you know, middle right, middle left, something like that, just somewhere where it's not getting blocked by maybe another app that you have. So it's nice that they do give you a lot of positions to work with here. So we'll go with bottom left. In terms of images, you can also uh, add a little image or something if you want. Uh, I'm not gonna be adding uh, an image really here. I mean, you can add an image if you want. Uh, don't necessarily need to do that. We'll just go with no image. Uh, or you know what, we'll, we'll test one, we'll test one, right? We'll go with the pants uh, or a face or something. So we'll go with the, uh, <laughs> we'll go with the t-shirt here, right? So if you want the uh, a background or an overall image, uh, you know, you can see what that looks like. So if we go here, back to the form, as you can see here, this is sort of what an image would look like on there. So actually we'll stick with the image, that looks kind of cool. Uh, so you can also add, as you can see here, uh, an image. Maybe this is like a, a popular influencer or someone else that you want to prominently feature on the email marketing form. You know, in terms of conversion rates, maybe not necessarily the best idea to throw extra things and stimulus in the image here. But if you want, hey, that's something else you can customize here uh, with the email pop-up form. So it is cool. Of course, you can also set it to go right or as the background image. So if you do want a background image, that's how you do it. I know that looks kind of wonky uh, there. You can also sort of make it uh, like that with the image opacity. So that's kind of a cool little uh, customization there. So I guess we'll we'll stick with that, I guess, for now. Uh, but as you can see, lots of different options in terms of how you want it to appear. Uh, you also have your behavior devices. So if you want it only on desktop, if you want it only on mobile, or you want all devices, I would recommend it to go on all devices. You can also have it show on all pages, show on specific page types, trigger display on first page view. Definitely would recommend that. So show form when visitors attempt to leave the page. I would definitely recommend checking that. That can improve your overall conversion rates because it's when people go to leave the page. I'll show you what it looks like, uh, but that is definitely something worth adding to trigger. And you can also create email automations as well uh, so that you can connect your with customers automatically after they submit the form. So this is through the Shopify email uh, app where you can send new subscribers an email with a discount welcoming them. So they will get the discount here. You don't necessarily have to send the email, but that is a good automation I would recommend doing if you have that. The Shopify email app, again, it is sync, does sync directly with it. So that is something worth considering uh, if you do want to send like a welcome email, uh, you can do that as well uh, as part of your overall email marketing campaign. But again, the discount code will still display after they enter in their information on the page there. So your customers, you can rest assured that it should be pretty easy for them to get to it. Next, you're just going to go ahead and click the save button. And then this will save the form. So the form is created. Now install the form. <laughs> the forms theme app embed in order for your forms to work on your storefront, go to your online store editor and turn on the forms theme app embed. So we got to do that. So as you can see here, you have the submissions completion rate. So it is currently active. So we're going to go to online store. So we're going to click that button there, themes editor. So now this should add in the app embed. So all you have to do, as you can see here, uh, 
all you have to do is then click this little toggle button here to turn on forms and boom there you go as you can see here the gip 10 percent off is now active and when we go to try and leave the page boom pops up with the email pop-up so definitely pretty cool setup in general so uh, we're gonna go ahead and obviously we click save there you might want to <laughs> when you're editing your theme maybe turn that off just because this could get really aggravating you could also just click the x button uh, when you're editing your theme just something to keep in mind so but that's the email pop-up so we're gonna go ahead and close that and as you can see here we now have the email pop-up so we have the app embed we turned it on and it is now active in the Shopify store. So we're gonna go ahead, go back, exit, and I'm currently using the Dawn theme as well. That should not matter, but if it does, I'm using the Dawn theme. You know, that's one of the latest up-to-date Shopify themes along with the online store 2.0 setup. I don't believe that the theme necessarily matters with this app, but in case it does, <laughs> I am using one of the latest up-to-date themes. Again, online store 2.0 setup. There's a ton of different free themes. The Dawn theme is free as well. Uh, so just in case, if that matters, I don't believe it does with this app. So we're gonna go back to the app, the Shopify forms. So we're just gonna search here for forms and that will bring us to the form. I would probably recommend pinning it to your navigation just so you don't lose it. Uh, that makes it a little bit easier. And as you can see now, it is currently active. We're gonna go to the live version of the store, refresh it here. And as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, we have get 10% off. You click it and boom, 10% off your entire order, get 10% off your first order, inspiration, new arrivals, and the latest offers to your inbox. So boom, that's it. That's the email pop-up form here with Shopify Forms. Again, pretty sleek, pretty nice, and it is all directly set up and managed through Shopify. So you can rest assured, that it is well optimized and well connected, at least just directly within the Shopify app. So another nice thing as well, I did show clicking uh, if people go to exit, the exit intent pop-up. So if people are scrolling around on your website, uh, you know, da 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 da, -da it, and this only works on desktop, and they go to exit your page while well, it already triggered. So we gotta refresh that again. <laughs> so if they go to exit your page, uh, it should trigger the exit intent. So it because we already just triggered it uh, a little bit ago, it may not trigger again. Uh, so that is at least something nice. So it won't just keep triggering on people if they keep going going to different pages. So there should be a cookie uh, that keeps it from just constantly triggering, which is nice. Uh, but you did see that basically when people go to exit the page, it will automatically pop up so that they see uh, the 10% off or whatever your email pop up shows uh, that you want to add to this form again. You can customize it exactly however you like. This is just one way of customizing it. And I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful on how to use and install the Shopify Forms app. This is a great way to capture emails. Uh, you can track a lot of analytics in here as well in terms of your overall customer segments. You can also track that too, viewing you know who's signing up, who's getting on your customer list here for the email form sign up. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the Shopify forms setup in general, how to use it, what it is and what it looks like. I think it's pretty nice. I think it's pretty sleek in general to add those Shopify email pop-up forms to your Shopify store. So guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you go and check out that first link down below in the description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, I also am offering one-on-one -on -one coaching, private one-on-one -on -one coaching consulting. If you are interested in that as well, that will also be linked down below in the description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash coaching. You know, be sure to also check out my link tree, follow me on social media. Instagram is the best place to follow me as well. That will also be linked down below in the description on my link tree where you can follow me on social media like Instagram as well. So guys, if you found this tutorial helpful or enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.